Hey guys and dolls, what is up? I'm gonna bring you a Dollar Tree haul, things that are like a necessity. I love it when people are like, you go to the Dollar Tree too much. I'm not one of those people that go to the Dollar Tree just to go to the Dollar Tree. I always go to the Dollar Tree for a reason because there's usually a lot of things that I need and I know that they have at a cheaper price point and that's what I'm all about. I'm a discount shopper. I may shop a lot, but I also save a lot because of the places where I shop at. So let me get into this. I wanted to show you something that I learned how to make though. And um, I'm actually wearing the earrings that I made recently. They're really cute. And let me show you the ones that I actually made that are just, I can't believe I did it. I'm so excited that I actually learned how to do this. There are people who sell stuff like this on Instagram and on Etsy and they sell it for buku money. Um, something like this could easily go for like $5. I made it myself. It didn't cost me anything at all. It only cost me $2 to make these. And I know somebody that sells these for like five and I'm like, mm -mm, I'm not about that life. So, and it's not even $5. It's $5 with a minimum purchase of 20. So good for her. I mean, she's, a, she's an entrepreneur, but I'm not into selling these because it would cost me too much money to ship them out. And bottom line are people are complainers and I don't want to have to deal with customer service. I am not a customer service type of person. I don't want to deal with people saying that my products are subpar because maybe they are. I'm not a perfectionist. I just do this for fun. And I don't want to deal with people saying that, you know, something's wonky or them not paying me or whatever. I don't want to deal with people. I do this for me and I do this for fun. So I made these out of the Littlest Pet Shop. Aren't they cute? I love them. And you can pay like 5 to $10 for something on Etsy or Instagram and... Not me, I made them myself. Same with these. People sell these for buku money. I made these. I put a jump ring on and I made Lay's potato chips earrings. And so no, these are not for sale. These are just for me. These are just for fun. Um, I love these so much. And I also made these because I, I, I love styling different outfits and I like having different earrings to go with every outfit that I style or make. So that's why I make so many earrings because I wear earrings every single day and I don't think I've ever worn the same earring twice. Um, little houses with a carrot on top. I love those. And then I made these out of buttons. So yeah, those are really fun. I want to make a video showing you all of the little, you know, cutesy earrings that I've made. That's just a little bit of a showing and a sharing. A showing and a sharing. So, yeah. And whose business is it anyway if you shop a lot at Dollar Tree? I mean, really? I know some people come for, people will come for everybody and their mothers and be like, ah, she's always going to the Dollar Tree every day. I'm like, well, every day I might need stuff. So, um, some of the non-necessities that I got, one of these is for my mom. Um, I got a detangling comb. I love these with a the shower hook. These are so amazing. And look at how pretty these are. They're pink roses. I use these to do like a scalp massage, you know, just to um, kind of do a deep dis deep conditioning on my hair. I just kind of comb it through, massage the scalp. Um, it promotes healthy hair growth, and that's what I do. I did get more jump rings because these jump rings are amazing, and it's what I used. See? Don't be a hater. Be an appreciator. So it is what I used right here. This is a Dollar Tree jump ring. You see that right there? On here is a Dollar Tree jump ring. I kid you not. I needed another bag of these because I can use these so much. These would cost like four to five dollars at a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels. And I got, I don't even know how many are in here. I don't even care. There's a lot, there's a lot. I'm so excited for this. Then I got a lipstick and this is Maybelline. It looks like an off-brand and you're like, what is that? But I looked at the bottom and at the very, very bottom, at the very, very bottom is winner, winner, chicken dinner. You think, oh, this isn't anything. Look, a no-name lipstick. It's not. It's Maybelline. It says right down there on the bottom, it's Maybelline. It is... Maybelline. 
doesn't say anywhere on here, but it says so on the bottom. And I can't see it now, but it is Maybelline. Matte Maybelline, right there at the bottom. At the very, very bottom, it says Maybelline. This is a Maybelline lipstick. Don't sleep on these. If you see them in this container and you're like, what is that? At the very, very bottom, it is Maybelline. So look at this does have a very strong scent as do all Maybelline lipsticks, but it is a Maybelline lipstick and it's gorgeous. And I gotta wash my hands again anyway, so we'll just do that. Look at that, the Maybelline lipstick. Wear this with a gloss over it, like a really nice nude gloss, and uh, you're good to go. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a Maybelline lipstick. <laughs> Everybody left them on the shelf. And then this one is a Wet n Wild Wild Shine Lip Gloss Balm. Tutu Tango. I love a good lip gloss. I love a good lip gloss. Especially like if you put this lipstick on and then you put a gloss over it. It looks amazing. Let me see if I can open this with some scissors. It's so funny. If I seem like I'm in a bad mood, I'm not. I just, there's a lot of haters in the Dollar Tree community. There's a lot of people that come for the Dollar Tree Dollars and be like, oh my god, they waste so much money going to the Dollar Tree every day, every single day. No, actually, we save a lot. I don't buy the home decor stuff. As you could see, I'm buying lipsticks. Lipsticks that, well, I'm not going to buy a lipstick at, I don't buy any lipsticks at Walmart or really anywhere else because nine out of ten times I could find really good lip products at the Dollar Tree. It's been a long time since I've bought a lipstick. I mean, look at that. That's Maybelline. It's been a really long time since I've bought like a lipstick from Ulta or Walmart or any of those places because nine out of ten times I could find something just as good at the Dollar Tree. It's a name brand. It doesn't smell like anything. It's just a gloss. So I'm excited for this. Yay! And then I did get more of these because I honestly don't know if I have any more of these, but I just pick them up whenever I see them because they don't always sell them at the Dollar Tree. It is the Cotton Rounds. And I just pick them up. I don't know if this is a good deal or not. Actually, no, it is. It is. I went to Walmart one time and they were selling, um, the pack had 80 and they were like three something. So this is a better deal. So yes, indeedy. I also got some coasters. My coasters are looking, oh my God, look at this. Look at this. My coaster is looking, that's disgusting. We need to replace that. So I got new coasters. And I'm just going to stack them here on my desk. And throw out. This one actually looks fine. This one looks good. This is a stain from maybe coffee. Who knows what. But it needs to be thrown away. And don't come for me. It was only $1.25 from that place of Japan. So now I have these ones. And they're just, you know, cardboard lemons. Um, they're not going to last forever, but that's okay. They're really fun for summer. And then I got water, the watermelon. So that's like a one, two, four, six, eight. Is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many are here? How come I can't count? Four, five, six. Six coasters. Can we count? No, we can't. <laughs> so we're just going to leave those here. I usually have two cups on my desk. One is water and the other is like Snapple, coffee, um, some sort of beverage and I'm really excited for this I'm gonna put all of my lippies in here this is the choose joy and I really really like that I try to choose joy every single day um, they say don't feed the trolls but sometimes you have to let the trolls know that yeah I see you and I really don't care what you say because I'm saving money every day and so, yeah, I really love this for my lippies. And then what I needed, what I so, so needed, I got five of these. And because I can't find these, sure, they may be cheaper someplace else, but I couldn't find them at Walmart. I couldn't find them at Target. So I just picked up five of these. And for the price of one of these, it was $7.99. And it was one hanger with like four different slots hanging down. Yeah, it's a safe, it's a space saver, but I didn't want to pay $7.99. I got five of these for $5. And what are they? They are scarf, scarf hangers. And you're like, you don't wear scarves. No, I don't. 
I am going to use these for my leggings, for my tights, my leggings. I'm going to, and then I'm going to try and consolidate some of my sweaters into my dresser drawers. So I have a little bit more closet space. And so I got five of these. I got them in this color. They had them in a light baby blue. This is the closest to pink that I could possibly get. Do they match my other hangers? No. Is that going to bother me? Slightly. But you know what? For the price, it was right. And I can't find these anywhere. I can't find the ones that are like... Because they do have some that are like this. And then they, they have them like this. You know, they have ones that have them all attached. And they look like, like this. And I didn't want to wait though. You know, I probably could super glue these together and take this off. Look at me trying to be all crafty. I'm not gonna do that, but they do sell some, but it's only during the winter where they go all the, oh, look, I could hang it up like this. And that would be a safe space, a safe, a space saver. Look at, I could do it like this. So I would essentially have the same effect that the one on Amazon had that looks like this. That's an idea. That's a really cool idea. All right, go me. So is that everything I got? That is everything I got. It was a really short haul. Um, I just, you know, I know they say, like I said, don't feed the trolls, but I prefer shopping at Dollar Tree and Walmart because over time, it really, really does save you money. And you can buy other things with it. What do I buy when I am not shop? What other things do I buy? I buy my lounge fly bags. By shopping at Dollar Tree, I can afford to buy lounge fly bags. Um, American Girl dolls. I can afford to buy other things rather than paying full price at Walmart for these or this. So live better, save more. That's my thing. I am a discount shopper. I buy most of my toiletries at Dollar Tree. I buy a lot of my cosmetics at Dollar Tree because they often have very nice name brand lipsticks. I buy hangers, I buy cotton rounds, um, anything and everything that I can try to get at a cheaper price point, that's how I live better and that's how I am able to, to stretch my dollar bills a little bit longer, so. Don't sleep on the Dollar Tree. They have some great stuff there. And uh, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Hit that like button, subscribe, jump on the Friendship Band, Megan, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.